Jerusalem Mayor Nir Barkat sent a letter to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Cabinet Ministers last week saying that the Finance Ministry is renouncing their obligation to provide budgets that were agreed upon to the capital in a meeting in the Finance Ministry, in which the administrative branch of the municipality was summoned, we were told that the government, led by the Finance Ministry, are bluntly rejecting agreements that were concluded in 2017 and the unilaterally they decided not to transfer NIS 105 million that they obligated to transfer beforehand, the letter reads. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, VAR J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements but tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, I, D, return, J, S equal D creatilement, S, J, S dot I, D equal I, D, JSSRC equal slash slash connect Facebook.net slash n underscore us slash all JS number XFBML equal one and app ID equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven FJS parent node insert before JS FJS document script Facebook JSSDK renouncing the agreements that were backed by the Prime Minister Office's Director General with no further notice is crossing a red line and an unprecedented breach of a ministerial agreement. Barkat explained in the letter that delaying these transactions are causing a delay in approving a municipal budget for 2018, which raises the municipal spending by NIS 143 million and that its deficit could be doubled. He added that to prevent this deficit, the municipality will have to carry out hard and painful cutbacks, which will include firing workers freezing support to welfare NGOs and wide-scale cuts in the budgets of the local community administrations attacking finance minister. Moshe Kalan, Barkat wrote to the ministers, I am asking as people that Jerusalem is a top priority for them to bear national responsibility and not to be dragged to after the finance minister's veto on Jerusalem. In addition, I am calling on you to act for proper budgeting for 2018 to the city a budget that will end the discrimination and will bring the city back on the track of growth and development. Jerusalem needs your intervention in solving this budget crisis, today, more than ever. In response, Finance Ministry said, during the period of Finance Minister Moshe Kalan, the special grant that was given to Jerusalem was doubled and reached an all-time high. During the period of Minister Kalan Jerusalem was given a special grant in an unprecedented sum of over NIS 3 million. Moreover, Kalan lowered corporate tax in Jerusalem to 7.5% to attract companies and factories to the city, while encouraging government companies to move to the city. Jerusalem is above any dispute and the finance ministry will keep strong thing it and its residents just as it did until today. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Tags, Budget Finance Ministry Jerusalem near Barkat Kalan Israeli Government Budget